ஆதித்யா பிர்லா சன் லைஃப் குவான் ஃபண்ட் ஆர் யூ கியூரியஸ் அபவுட் வாட் ஆர் குவான் ஃபண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் வில் இன்வெஸ்டிங் இன் த ஆதித்யா பிர்லா சன் லைஃப் குவான் ஃபண்ட் வில் ஹெல்ப் இன் யோர் வெல்த் அக்யூமுலேஷன் ப்ராசஸ் இன் த லாங் டேம் தென் யூ ஆர் அட் த ரைட் பிளேஸ் லெட் அஸ் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த ஆன்சர்ஸ் டு யோர் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இன் அண்ட் த்ரூ அண்ட் இன் டெப் அனலைசிஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ லெட்ஸ் கெட் டு த அனலைசிஸ் ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு ஹாலிஸ்டிக் இன்வெஸ்ட்மெண்ட் டாட் இன் we help individual investors like you to make the right financial and investment decisions to reach your financial goals in a faster and smarter way so before analyzing the aditya birla sun life quan fund let us first understand the key features of this fund and also what are quan funds so this aditya birla sun life quan fund is an nfo which opens on 10th june 2024 and is open until 24th june 2024 So what are quant funds? Quant funds are algorithm based funds which are semi active and semi passive investing. So even though these funds are governed by an algorithm, the ultimately all the investing decisions are made by the fund manager. But this path of action has a determined set of norms and investing regulations. So based on that only the fund manager will invest. and these norms and regulations are based on mathematical and statistical methodology so this also uh, has the risk of arbitrary decisions so some of the key features of the aditya birla sun life quant fund are it's managed by mr harish krishnan and it has a benchmark of nifty 200 tri and it has a minimum amount of application which is 500 rupees and also this fund belongs to the category of equity thematic and it is an open ended fund type also there is an exit load for 0.5% if you redeem this fund redeem from this fund within 90 days and there is no entry load for this fund so the investment objective of this fund is it is to generate long term capital appreciation for the investors invested in it by investing in equity and equity related securities based on the quant model theme Now let's go on to our analysis by analyzing the potential merits and demerits that's found in this Aditya Birla Sun Life Quant Fund. So the potential merits that we can see is as this is a quant fund which is algorithm based uh, which is based on the mathematical and statistical methodologies there is minimum human intervention so uh, which potentially leads to smaller possibility of mis- mistake which is potentially as there is no behavior bias involved because the fund manager is not actively taking all the decisions regarding this fund there is minimum uh, behavior bias involved because the fund manager will have his own biases to work with right so uh, this will not be possible here because there is a minimum uh, amount of human intervention so this can potentially lead to smaller possibility of mistake and also there is a stronger risk control because uh, this quant fund will adhere to a defined investing plan despite the market volatility conditions so despite the conditions they stick to a defined investing plan so there is a particular stronger risk control you can also say that this fund is a budget friendly choice with low management cost because because it has a reliable and a passive method of investing so it has a little bit budget friendly cost for a budget friendly investor Uh, compared to other funds in the market also you can predict the outcome to a certain extent because these results are often predictable uh, especially because the strategy follows a defined methodology right and these methodology are based on the past and present performance so you can uh, definitely a little bit predict the outcome due to that so this could give us a little bit of insight into what might happen probably but other than that let's move on to the demerits the potential demerits uh, that we can get by investing in this fund so this is also equally important to note because this will reveal the demerits will reveal the risk you might have to take by investing in this fund so first of all the quantitative models as this is a quant fund which uses quantitative models it can only choose stocks based on predetermined parameters which means that even if the algorithm comes across a high potential stock it will be disregarded by the model if it does not satisfy the criterion so potentially high potential stocks can also be missed because it follows a predetermined parameter right and it might not work in the future in the market so it which can also lead to loss so this is something you should consider also as we have already said these algorithms are based on past and present results so based on that we can 
predict a little bit but it's not a guarantee that the future and also in the market will play out completely like uh, the same like that right so by predicting like that especially when pre- uh, using an algorithm like that and applying it to the current uh, market situation without any uh, changes or modifications like that it will definitely impact our portfolio it can induce risk because we cannot completely predict it and as this is based on past and previous results there is no guarantee that the future also can be played out exactly like that also these quant funds cannot ensure a profit because this is an nfo and if you take for an example even this is an nfo and there is no proven track record there is also some quant funds which has been around for uh, for a few years in the market for the few years also only quant fund have been becoming a little bit popular but still if you look at the track record of those quant fund you can still see that it's performing a little bit poorly to average right so uh, it's not as performing incredible compared to other funds so uh, we don't we do not know for uh, sure if it can you know uh, ensure a profit we need to see for more a little bit more years to uh, completely analyze whether this can ensure a profit or not it has to be in the market for few more years before a con- uh, we come to the conclusion that it can ensure a profit in the long run this might perform well this might not perform well so as there is not that much of a track record for these quan funds we do not know for sure that's why investing in a quan fund like this is a blind risk not a calculated risk we do not have a proper track record to analyze the risk we are taking here so it's not a calculated risk it's a blind risk also quan funds claim to be bear proof or they use a uh, short term strategies which can be dangerous they can be dangerous because they use derivatives right derivatives based on the past and previous results but they are predicting that they are they might be bear proof or something but what if their prediction goes wrong it will definitely induce risk and impact the uh, returns from your overall uh, investment portfolio that's why uh, derivative using derivatives can be dangerous so what is the final takeaway whether we should invest in the aditya birla sun life quant fund or not what is the final takeaway from this review as you can see from the merits and the demerits by analyzing the risk we might have to potentially take by investing in this fund this aditya birla sun life quant fund is not something you need to invest through your core investment portfolio where you are already investing to achieve your main financial goals this fund is something you can do invest for an experimental basis suppose you have some spare money and you want to uh, invest in a quant fund just to see how it performs on an experimental basis then you can definitely invest it through your satellite portfolio not through your core investment portfolio also this fund as it has a high as uh, it's a high risk portfolio uh, fund you need to be invested in it for at least a time horizon of 7 years or more just to potentially maximize your returns you need to consider the fact this factor also whether you can be invested for in a such a long time in a fund like this because uh, you might want to invest for a short time period also so you need to see if you can commit to a fund for more than 7 years or more than 7 years but if you still want to invest uh, in a quant fund our personal opinion is not to invest in it because there is no proper portfolio not a good track record and we do not have sufficient research or concluding whether to invest in it or not so investment in the aditya birla sun life quant fund might turn out to be really risky in the future for us so it's better to avoid investing in this fund if you really want to invest in a mutual fund there are other existing mutual funds that have a track record of minimum of 7 to 10 years why 7 to 10 years because in the 7 to 10 years the market cycle would have gotten completed it have gone to a period of high returns uh, to a period of low return to a period of no return and even to a period of negative return and we can see through the track record how the fund has performed in those periods and see whether we can invest in this fund or not whether we can take this risk that's why it's called calculated risk not blind risk investing in aditya birla sun life quant fund is a blind risk that's why if you want to invest in anything and you have some doubts whether that will suit your financial goals and your time horizon definitely involve and consult with your professional financial planner because they will consider all factors like this from a professional perspective what is your investment objective what is your risk profile what is the asset allocation you need to give to each of these funds to achieve your financial goals and especially what is the overlap ratio between your investment portfolio and the fund's investment portfolio you want to invest in and they will consider all these factors and personalize a financial plan and craft investment strategies especially for you so involving a professional financial planner in the long run is definitely a 
wise decision and it will be helpful for you so if you want a professional guidance like that definitely book a one on one consultation with one of our professional financial planners through the uh, link in the description which is a complimentary consultation we also regularly conduct free live webinars where you can in interact with leading experts of the finance industry to gain more financial and investment insights and if you want to learn more about finance and investment industry then definitely hit like and subscribe to our youtube channel so we can come up with more such financially beneficial content for you thank you for watching